and thrill me all over. I'm just mad about you. I wish I could believe you. But you must believe me, dear. I'm a man of need. I have money, plenty of money, and I can give you everything your little heart desires. Just to be sweet to me and see. I wish you wouldn't help me. Can't you understand what it means? I'm only a young girl, just out of school. And my poor mother works herself to death to send me through college and die saying that I would struggle hard and be somebody. But, my dear, I want to help you. I mean what I say. I want to marry you. Honestly? Do you mean it? 
Do you really want me to marry you? Why, of course. I... Ah! Now, folks, I guess you think you've heard some funny comics. You wait until you hear George and Gally. Gally and George, hello! <laughs> That's the boy that put on his happy taxi. Yeah. He picked his hat and walked out in the forest and started chopping on the sea, and his mama walked out. Yeah, who was his mother? A Betsy Ross. His mama said, Abraham, your father wants you. And he mm -hmm. walked in the house and his papa, and his papa looked him in the eye, and his papa said, Abe, Abe, did they cut on the tree? Yeah. He said, Father, I cut it with my little hatchet. Uh -huh. He said, Son, go ye and cut no more, and he ain't cutting on them. Yeah. Hey, look at that boy, Lindenburg. Yeah, that's a great man. And that Lindenburg. Yeah, greatest man out of all of them. Yeah. Me and you can be just as great as him. Uh, all you got to do is to help me out right here and now in my pocket. I got a song that I wrote no more, no longer than yesterday. And there ain't nothing to do but for you to find some endings. I got the song, but I can't get the finish. Oh, you want me to help you? Yeah, you, you, you rhyme it with me. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Bro. All right. You can make love in a flower garden. Daisies will not tell. You can make love in a flower garden. Daisies will, will not tell. tell. You can, you can make love in a flower garden. Daisies will not tell. And step in and step out. Yeah. A line is a vicious beast that we all know well. A line is a vicious beast that we all know well. A line is a vicious beast that we all know well. And hot dogs cannot buy. If you ever see a pig watching in the summertime, you ever see a pig watching in the summertime. Did you ever see a pig watching in the summertime? No, but I have seen pig eyes. What is it that an elephant has that no animal can't? What is it that an elephant has that no animal can't? What is it that an elephant has that no animal can't? And it must be little baby elephant. You can write the winner when the trees are buttoned on. You can tell when the song against the bird. You can tell when the winter's gone. It's leaves against the bird. When it's gone, summer draws on. Why did the boy stand on the burning day? Why did the boy stand on the burning day? Why did the boy stand on the burning day? It was two dogs on hot to sit down. I I don't like the way he looks at me. Oh, he's only my godmother, but he's like a real mother and loves me dearly. Well, I don't like the way he looks at me, though. Well, 
To be frank about it, he doesn't exactly like you, doesn't trust you. But if you marry me and be nice to me, like you say you're going to, everything will be all right, Daddy dear. And if I'm not? Well, he always said that if any man was mean to me, he... Do what? Kill me. But you will be nice to me, won't you, Daddy? Oh, I, of course I will, dear. But you see, I will. You know I will. Oh, Daddy, you make me so happy. Suppose we dance now. Yes, suppose we do. Oh. <laughs>
Will you tell Miss Ida Groves that a gentleman wishes to see her and send her to my table, please? This is Miss Ida Groves, Mr. Beg pardon, sir. Which Ida did you want to see? Ida Groves or Ida Morton? There are two Idas here, you know. Oh, is that so? Oh, let me see. Uh, which one are you? Well, I'm Ida Groves. Oh, I see. Uh, and the other girl's name is? Ida Morton. Hmm, let me see. Well, it's Ida Morton that I want. Thank you. I'll send it to you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these sweet women will endeavor to entertain you with a sweet, soft you number. Hit it, boys. <laughs> But this is... Ida Martin, thank you. And you? Terry Martin. The most interesting producer? Well, something like that, I guess. Oh, I'm delighted. Flattered. Everything. Now, have a seat, Miss Martin. I'm here especially to feed you. Oh, Mr. Martin, really? Really and truly. Oh, Mr. Martin, whatever can you wish to speak to me about? Pictures. Motion pictures. How would you like to work in one? I like to go to heaven without John. Oh, Mr. Martin, you can't mean it. Of course I mean it, Bertie. Oh, great goodness. I just can't believe it. Honestly, Mr. Martin, if you're not here, do you really want to use me and the picture? There. I knew you were only joking. You didn't mean what you said in the beginning. Oh, that is unkind. Now I've begun to hope. Of course I want you, but I... Uh... But, but what, Mr. Martin? Well, the part is only small and don't pay much. And I... Uh... Oh, any part will do. Just as long as you use it. I'll wait for anything. Yes. Oh, any part will do. Just as long as you use it. And as to the whole part of warning, I'll wait for nothing. I'll... But that's not this. The part, as I have said, is small and pays only three dollars and a half a day. But I have... I'll take it and, I, and work so hard, Mr. Martin. And I want to thank you so much for giving it to me. You don't realize how happy this makes me. Now, what can I do to show you how much I appreciate this? Can I sing for you, dance for you? Oh, Mr. Martin, I can do almost anything. And I'm willing to do it all for you. Just say, Mr. Martin. Really, you interest me. You have personality and talent. And I'm going back to my office and build your part of it to something bigger. Meanwhile, you can sing for me, dear, and dance for me if you want to. Come on! 
Murder? Ever see a man killed? Great goodness, no. What's the idea? One is going to be committed here tonight. What are you talking about? The murder that's going to be committed here tonight. If you're not joking, I'm ready to leave. I'm not joking. Do you see that woman over there? I'll tell you the story. Fifteen years ago, she was young and beautiful. And she was madly in love with the man that you see her there now with. No, no, you're mistaken. It is true that he betrayed her, but she's not seeking revenge for herself, but for another. I won't leave until I'm good and ready. You can't find work because you're not looking for it. You've done nothing to help me, but try to hinder me since the baby comes. I hope I never see you again. See this house now. See? Running around with other women. While I lay suffering. At the point of death. And all because of you. I hate you. Why shouldn't I run around with other women? I'm free, single, disengaged, and have a right to. Well, in one you are tied to, and more now since the baby. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Do you know any more jokes? You think you're married to me? <laughs> you fool! I'm not married to anybody. <laughs> Yes. 
Yes, it is a license, but only... <laughs> trial, he was clear through an alibi and returned to his racket of luring girls to the ruin just as she had ruined hers. It so happened that this girl had told the woman her story and the woman had cared for her and still keeps her baby. Now he's due here tonight and she is waiting and going to shoot him on sight. I'll <laughs> move now. No. It's too late. Here he comes now. Thank you. 
Don't say anything. The men are watching. I know it looks bad for me, but I'm not going to do anything. I shall sit right here and wait until I receive the other note. And then... But Lisa, are you mad? Do you think I'm going to sit here and see you, the woman I love and have always loved, murdered by this madman? Why, I... Please, Anthony. You know I love you, too. And have traveled thousands of miles in my efforts to escape this madman and find you. Oh, Anthony, my love. I wish I could embrace you so you could feel the beat of my heart and know that I love you just as much as you do me. But listen, Anthony, but you must promise to be patient and believe me. Last night, I dreamed of Mother, my poor dear Mother, who's dead. She came to me in my sleep and told me this man would catch up with me here in New York, but not to run away. And that before... Oh, my God. Come on, dear. Yeah. Be calm, my baby. Place your trust in God. Something terrible is going to happen. But have faith, my daughter. Have faith. Lisa, I'm going out that door. And you're going with me. But I... Please don't answer me. If you love me truly, don't try and take me out of here now. But just sit with me. Close to me. And wait. I'm not afraid. I'm strangely confident and happy. Now, the show is going to start. Let's just sit here and wait and see it. Until...
Anthony. You? Lisa, my darling. It's strange, but I thought I heard you in the house before you came. I was sure I heard somebody. Music, but I didn't arrive until I rang the bell. I guess I was mistaken, yet I would have sworn that I heard somebody. However, now that you are here, take a seat in the parlor while I run upstairs and finish dressing. I'll be down in two minutes. Oh, dear. Please don't. Just another, my angel. You must remember, I haven't seen you for weeks. You are stunning, my dear. You think so? You're wonderful. Thank you. Now let's hurry. No, no, no more kisses until we come back. You'll spoil my makeup. <laughs> Thank you. 
introduce you to a little bit of the jungle. Spirit of the jungle, hey boy! <laughs> Thank you. 